Hi guys, I wasn't going to do this today, but I realized what I want to do for this month's Artsy Trio video needs to dry overnight so I can finish it tomorrow. So yes, let's get started. This is this month's vision board that we're doing for the month of December. This vision board was created by me, and you will notice a uh, couple of themes. <laughs> it's all about, for me, the small things. I love taking pictures with my phone when I'm out for my nightly walks or out at events or everywhere, to be honest. And it is mostly pictures of nature and frequently things that are rainbow or multicolored. Um, I love that kids in our neighborhood do lots with sidewalk chalk in the spring and summer, and I'm constantly taking pictures of what they do, they're do. they doing, along with flowers and floral things. And there's a house in the neighborhood that always is posting uh, things like, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says Kindness Matters. Um, you can get a copy of this vision board over in the RT Trios Facebook group, and I would love to see what you do with it this month. Please tag me in your posts over in the said Facebook group, and or if you do a video, um, I'd love to see what you're doing. Anyway, I'm really all about rainbows this month, and I really wanted to experiment with doing some sort of art rainbow-based and, um, and nature-inspired. Um, I really wanted it to look like an oil slick sort of a I thing. Now I did have a picture of an oil, rainbow oil slick thing. Um, we didn't include it in the vision board. I Maybe I should have, because it's really stuck in my brain. Um, I will put a picture of it here and I will include a picture over in the Artsy Trio Facebook group. Um, you know, it's one of those rainbow oil slicks that you see on the road after it's rained, where a car was parked that probably has an oil leak, and you see just the rainbow of colors in the puddle of water. I love that look. And I was just thinking, how can we get sort of an interesting rainbow oil slick kind of thing on an art journal page? Can we do that? Is it possible? Maybe. So I started experimenting, and I am going to include the vision board on the journal page, of course, as I always do. I am also going to put a clear pocket. This is a clear plastic adhesive pocket, so I can even stick it right on top of the vision board, which it'll still show through. And I am going to put in the pocket my experiments. So I experimented with a few different things to see which one I thought would work better. I used sort of a tone tan color paper because the page I want to do this on in my journal is a tan page somewhere hold on somewhere somewhere here we go so it's a page that's this color so first i tried um, alcohol ink over matte medium matte medium yeah and that was really nicely brightly colored but not exactly what I was looking for, and I had to figure out where I put my alcohol ink because I haven't used them in so long, and I really need to like use them because some of them are just I didn't save one of the colors out where it's just so messy, like you can't even see the label, but I have some I don't I don't even know what the color is anyway. So that was that one. This one was acrylic inks over matte medium. This one was Distress Inks over Matte Medium. And this one, I just decided to do Alcohol Inks with Blending Solution. This is the winner. And I, I, th I put so much Blending Solution that it rubbed off, it wore off the pen I had on the back, even though the pen was water resistant. It wasn't alcohol resistant. But anyway, this is what we're gonna, the kind of blend we're gonna shoot for. So. The first thing I'm going to do is put these on here so that I know I want to just do my piece of artwork over here. In times past in this journal, I do these artistic experiments and then I make notes. In this case, the notes are the cards. So first, let's glue this down. I'll grab a glue stick. If I can get the lid off, holy cow. Oh, there we go. and smooth it out with a gift card. 
It's not exactly straight, but that's okay. And we're going to put our clear pocket on here. And that side of the page will look like that. Now the artwork is going to be done on the other side. To get ready for that, we have to do some prep work. Because if we don't do the prep work, prep work the ink is going to go everywhere. So I need to go grab a couple things and I'll be right back. If you've caught any of my episodes of The Messy Journaler, you've seen this box before. If you haven't caught any of those episodes, I'll link the playlist down below. But anyway, I have this kind of box I can do messy stuff in and ha not have it go everywhere. I also have a dollar store shower curtain, which is just a big giant piece of plastic. So anyway, we've got our plastic wrapped around our journal to try to protect what we're gonna do from going everywhere. Um, I've got my colors lined up in sort of rainbow-ish order. I have to decide which one I want to do. I'm going to do some, um, I'm not going to do lines. So I have to decide what color I want in the middle and what color I want in the outside. Do I want to start with the darkest in the inside or the lightest in the inside? It's a dilemma. We need our blending solution. Hopefully I have enough. Alcohol does work, by the way, if you um, don't have blending solution, but you have some alcohol inks. Uh, rubbing alcohol actually will work. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just do that. One of the reasons I'm protecting the journal is because this would just go straight through to the other pages. And as it is, I probably won't be able to easily do anything on the back side. That's okay, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, right? See this right here? This is why we covered the journal. Otherwise it would just go all over the place. It'll, it's still gonna go all over the place, but you know what I mean. Okay. Now, one thing you can do is take a scrap piece of paper. Look at that. I always have scrap pieces of paper around, so if you have a spot that you think you got it too dark, you just kind of blot it up. And then if you do that and you see, like, I don't want to see these lines. So I'm just going to keep adding ink and or blotting and adding blooding solution until I get the look I want. Pretend you're doing an acrylic pour, only instead of with paint, you're using ink. That's what it reminds me of, very much. And when you're satisfied, then just let it dry. Now, if you're like me and you use lots of alcohol ink, it might take a little bit to dry. Alcohol ink dries pretty fast, but not if you use 20 tons of it like I do. <laughs> but as you can see, I just have a lot of trouble, uh, trouble, a lot of fun playing with the ink and just adding colors until I just am really loving what I'm seeing. And these can be like collage papers for your next project. So don't throw those away. All right, 
I kind of like the where that's going, so we're gonna let it dry and we'll be back with the next part. Okay guys, so this is nice and dry. I let it dry overnight. Uh, the plastic did a great job protecting the rest of the journal. It did, did uh, bleed through, I expected that. If I do anything on the back of here, I'll either work with the marks on the back or I will gesso the back, but I may just use it for making notes on and then do something here. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so now, inspired by the vision board here, we'll take these out for now, and um, the oil slick rainbow that didn't get included in the vision board, I want to add some highlights and shadows. I want to work with the shape that organically came out, and I want to make some highlights and shadows. I've got a variety of white, gray, and black pencils here. I've got a blending stump. My reading glasses, because I'm going to need those. Um, these are very varying shades of opaqueness um, and um, sheerness. We're going to just try to experiment. I'm going to do the shadows first. I'm going to start with some grays. I have a, I, I'm not a pencil snob. I like Crayola just as much as Staedtler or um, Holbein. Um, although I have recently discovered this Holbein colored pencil and this is soft white and this is color number OP501. I have another one that's sharpened that's downstairs in my um, drawing bag that I use when I lose track of saving any white space in my work and my drawings and watercolors. And this works really well for adding a little bit of that white back. Gel pen works well too, but I get completely frustrated with gel pen because they just clog all the time. Um, so I prefer a pencil and this one works really well. So I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something like that. And we will probably use it at some point so you'll get to see it. Anyway, I digress again. Okay, let's start with our grays. We've got three grays here. Let's see where we get with them. We have a, a Crayola one. The color is Timberwolf. Two Derwent pencils, graph tint. One is warm gray, one is mountain gray. And we're gonna start with Crayola. Oops. And I'm going to um, add some shadows. I'm gonna start off subtly. You can always add more. But it's hard to take it away. So start off carefully and subtly. And add your shadows and your marks. I'm gonna speed forward through my process and I'll be back.
like the way that looks. Now I'm going to add, you know, our vision board has a lot of flowers on here, has three images of flowers on here. I do often when I'm out and about take pictures of things in nature. I'm going to add some of these little, they're not daisies, I don't know what they are, but anyway, I'm gonna add some. flower type shapes. I'm using um, a paint pen. They're not my favorite thing. They clog constantly, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. I'm just making a series of dots. I did last night when I was letting this dry think of something I want this to say. Now I will preface that by saying this is a journal where I practice with different techniques and color combinations and mixing colors and materials and this is not generally a journal where I put words or phrases um, on the finished page. This is all about experimentation and making notes um, but something did come to me last night that I think I need to type up and put on here. So we are going to do that as soon as I'm done with the main image and I will show you how I'm going to do that too. So again, we're just making a series of dots. And I could keep going, but I think I'm gonna stop there. And then I have a yellow gel pen that I think I'm gonna use for the centers. Again, just a dot, nothing complicated. And the nice thing about an image like this is break out all those pencils you have that you probably don't use, if you're like me, you don't use them nearly enough. And see which ones will do what. That's cute. I like that. Do I want to add any more? Yeah, I'm kind of wanting, this is just a basic 6H Prismacolor Graphite Pencil. This is nothing special, it's just a graphite pencil. I don't think it's gonna leave uh, much of anything that you're gonna be able to see. It's gonna be very subtle. Maybe too subtle. Um, I have a black Crayola. Maybe we'll do that one instead. It's Crayola, so it's slightly darker. But I mean, it's not, it's not a whole bind or anything. Just sort of drawing some vines connecting our flowers. Don't think about it too much. Just draw and have fun and experiment. Play. Okay, that's cute. Let's zoom out just a little bit. So it, you're not gonna see it a ton, you see that? Yeah, it's just very subtle, but I am okay with that. I kind of like it. All right, we're gonna type our phrase now. Hang on. Okay, this is my vintage Underwood typewriter. Yes, I said typewriter. <laughs> um, and sometimes, you know, just getting away from computers and yeah, anyway, so let's, and it has a piece of note paper from my late grandmother's um, stash of stationery that we found when she passed away. I have a bunch of her um, blank notepads of paper. Um, I use them for my art journaling. Anyway, let's type up our phrase. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna glue it right there. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk about what I typed. So life isn't always about rainbows and flowers, but we can find beauty anywhere. So for me, the vision board this month um, and the inspiration behind it is just the small things. You, you don't have to find beauty and inspiration, you know, in some random, fancy Caribbean beach. Sometimes beauty and inspiration can be found right in your own backyard. And uh, you only have to just look and open your eyes to see it. I find constant inspiration in the world around me, in my own neighborhood, in my own yard, and in, in the simple things. And if we've learned nothing in this past couple of years, then maybe we've learned that, that it's just sometimes about the simple things. I would love to see what you do with this month's vision board, small things, and the idea of lots of color and rainbows, experimenting with the materials that you have um, in your collection, if you're like me, things that you don't use too much. And I will put the bonus oil slick picture over in um, the Facebook group. I would love to see what you do this month. Love, love, love. So please tag me in the post and I will um, make sure to like and comment if I can. And yeah, that's it for this month. Uh, the other two uh, collaborators videos are listed in the video description. I would encourage you to go over to their channels, like, share, and subscribe to all three channels if you can. And um, please support the free content on the channels uh, all of us have something in the video description, so check it out. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.